At least 16 persons, including 15 security personnel, were killed in a Naxal attack in Gadchugali. I have Mr. Subodh Jaiswal, the Director General of Police, Maharashtra State, with me to share more details on this. So, if you can share some more details about this attack. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, today at 12.30 hours, a police team comprising of 15 police personnel from the, of the Quick Reaction Team base of Gadchugali Police, based in Kurkeda Police Station, was moving in a vehicle to Purada police station. Both the police stations are located in North Kirchioli and during the movement a landmine blast took place in which 15 of our colleagues made a supreme sacrifice and one private individual also lost his life. Presently operations are underway to find out what exactly has happened and our forces are in the area and they are trying to remove the bodies from the scene and uh, identify how the entire incident took place and what all has happened. So those who have lost their lives were from a quick response team and they were not from C60 just to clarify? No, they were from the quick reaction team of the Gadchuli police which was based out of Gad uh, Kurkheda. And how many bodies have been uh, recovered so far and do you expect any more to be recovered? Presently the operations are going on in the field and we are not uh, we have, some bodies have been recovered. We are yet to bring them to headquarters. That process is ongoing. So, uh, is this true that uh, there was already an intelligence input that Naxals can plan or can target security forces? Uh, it is like this. Uh, Naxals have been planning to target uh, police forces. They have done it in the past also. And uh, during the elections, there were inputs that would try to do it. But fortunately for us, we took adequate precautions and we moved our forces in a very effective manner during the elections, during which on the 11th of uh, uh, last month, the elections passed off peacefully. All polling parties were inducted and de-inducted in a systematic manner. Enough uh, uh, polling took place, so we were very happy about the conduct of the entire election process. Presently, why this incident happened, how this incident has happened, we are still in the process of uh, taking stock. Once we understand the entire why and how the incident happened, we'll respond to your questions. Yes. So this in incident is followed by the torching of vehicles. Do you think that incident of torching of vehicles was just a trap or and uh, how do you re react to this? Look, I will not uh, react to this at the moment because uh, both the incidents have taken place. We need to understand and appreciate how and why they really happened. Once we have a clear understanding of that, we'll be able to respond to you. So one thing that uh, this was a high intensity blast as we could see the uh, you know, remains of the vehicle also. So uh, one question, how, how do they get such uh, you know, uh, explosive in such a quantity, you know, IED blast in such a quantity? And secondly, how do you see your, uh, your force you know, prepared to give a befitting reply to the next one? Our force is uh, mentally quite prepared to respond. We are quite confident of the capacities and capabilities. I was SP Gatchuli myself in 92-95 and uh, during that period also we lost lives and a uh, lot of we responded effectively and I'm sure under the leadership of the of the present superintendent of police and the DIG range necessary action will be taken, necessary response will be given. We are quite confident of our capacities. So just one thing more that uh, since Pune police is already investigating a case of moist and so-called urban nationalism, just to link some connections, so do you think that your agency would also be questioning those who are already in custody? Uh, for me to make a, giving you a response in that at this point in time will not be correct. Once we have seen what exactly has happened, once we know what exactly has happened, how it has happened, then only we'll be able to respond. Is there a possibility that that could be one of the line of the investigation? For us, when we investigate, we always go from crime to the criminal. So once we start investigating the crime, we'll look at all aspects of so investigation. Definitely, it was it is a big loss, not just for the Maharashtra police, but for the entire country. Yeah, of course, without doubt. We have lost 15 our colleagues and... Uh, as a former unit commander, I can only say that I have seen these things in the past and our hearts go out to the families of the youngsters who have lost their life today.
Thank you for speaking to us. And so this was uh, the Director General of Police Maharashtra sharing details about the Nexel attack in Gadkhuri with us.